Okay, listen. We all know brows are super important and set the tone for the rest of the makeup look. Some people like that dramatic, trendy brow. Others like the clean, perfect Instagram brow. I tend to go for that natural yet full brow. Simple, right? Yeah, I... My brows like to defy me in every way possible, so it's super important to have a really good brow gel to lock them in place. Now there are people who actually carve their brows before filling them in. If this applies to you, do we need to talk? Is everything okay at home? I mean, I kinda understand why you do this, but like, come on, this isn't math. Makeup isn't supposed to be done backwards. There are also people who prefer using concealer as their primer or their base instead of using an actual shadow primer or base. I can't really. I prefer using an actual primer. However, I couldn't find mine, so I was forced to use concealer. Can you believe years ago I wouldn't dare wear single shadow looks because I felt like it insinuated that I didn't have talent. So I would always wear multiple color shadows to show off my blending skills so that I could feel like, yes, I am satisfied, yes, I have talent. Then I realized a lot of makeup artists actually go for the subtle, single shadow looks in the beauty industry when they're working on their models, rather than going for the extravagant, multicolored looks. Not to mention, makeup isn't always about talent. It's also about expression. And a pop of color with a little bit of glitter goes a long way. Realistically, I'm the girl who forgets steps and has to go back so that I can look a little put together. I will forget to do them in order and I would have to go back and redo that step. Sometimes I even go as far as leaving the house and completely forgetting the step altogether. Finally, foundation to cover up all the bad decisions I've made. All the chocolate and Doritos I really shouldn't have eaten. But we're here now. Concealer is a step that I skip frequently, but when I'm feeling a little extra into the process, I'll add a little bit of concealer, which is shocking because I don't always do that. But when I do, you know I'm in a good mood. I use the smallest amount of powder just because I don't like my under eyes feeling dry. And I use a little bit of contour as well because my face is pretty slim and I only use it to warm up my face anyway. Yeah, I don't know where my mind was, but the highlight never made it to my other cheekbone. I turned my camera off and thought, where am I going without my highlight completed? I need to get it together.
Name one thing more painful than poking yourself in the eye with a mascara wand. And childbirth, stubbing your toe, and stepping on a Lego does not count. This is the most important part of getting ready. If you have cats and you wear black, this is a must. And that is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's grow this family. And as always, stay tuned for more. Bye.